What's up YouTubers, Andrew Jones here and today we're going to make a cardboard footstool. Something that you can use most likely in the kitchen or in the bathroom if you need to go potty. Kids can stand at the sink and wash their hands. So the trick today is we're going to make it look like it's wood or just not like cardboard. Something that you're not really used to but the end result is going to be awesome, long lasting. It's not going to fly but it'll still be cool. Check it out. Enjoy. Press stop. Stop. Just the paper part of it. We'll use this as a taper. Sort of like when I used to do drywall. You just peel it. So, we use that to taper the edges. Like the front is. Gives it sort of a clean look. It's like rounded wood. So, what I like to do is Elmer's glue. You can use wood glue if you want. There's all kinds of different bonding glues that you can use. It, it really depends on what your preference is. My preference is to go cheap because, well, let's just face it, I'm cheap. And I make a lot of things out of cardboard. All my furniture is made out of cardboard, so let's just do it as cheap as possible, right? All right, so there we go. Uh, I think you guys might be able to see that. What I like to do is get a little bit of glue on these four fingers and just kind of Pull it downward like that. Smooth it out, and then you get a nice clean look. What's up, you guys? Just wanted to give you a special tip, but first to let you know, I got a headache. As usual, that's the case lately. Anyway, uh, got to go see a doctor and get an MRI scan. So, just wanted to let you know, when you're building stuff out of cardboard, always make sure that your lines are running vertically. That's up and down because this ensures that you're going to get the maximum amount of pressure for your cardboard. As you can see, I'm pushing down pretty hard, and when you turn it horizontally like this, you kind of don't. You know, the cardboard tends to collapse, and it's really fragile in on itself. But this way, you can put a lot more pressure. This is going to ensure that you get the maximum amount of weight per square inch for your cardboard items that you are building. So for this footstool, uh, you can probably put about 300 pounds on it, believe it or not. Anyway, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so after you cut all of your cardboard pieces at four and a half inches high and 12 inches in length, you're going to want to glue all those together. And it really becomes pretty solid. I used a little bit of wood glue for this. And then this one I cut eight inches across and about three and a half inches high. So you can see it kind of looks like an H pattern. That's what I'm going to use for the base. We're going to glue this all together and see what we got. All right, you guys, so here we have our finished product all glued together with absolutely nothing showing any cardboard seam. Really. So we're going to lacquer it and see how it turns out. <laughs> 